What's up? It's Susie from Hey Grill Hey, and today we are making one of my favorite appetizer slash side dishes. Honestly, it does double duty for either. They are these loaded twice baked potatoes. I'm doing them on the smoker start to finish. It'll give a smoky flavor, these crispy skins on the outside, and then bacon, cheese, green onions, and all of that goodness stuffed in the middle. You're gonna love this recipe. I'm gonna show you how to do it. So let's get started. We are kicking things off by baking our potatoes. Now these are gonna be done in the grill, 400 degrees. Pierce them on all sides so they don't explode on you. Drizzle them with olive oil and season them with my beef rub. I will be doing this on the grill start to finish like I mentioned, but you can do this in your oven as well. This is a very, very flexible recipe, but I think the smoky flavor you get by doing it outside is totally worth the effort. I'm gonna go directly on the grill grates. This will actually give me a really kind of nice, crispy, crunchy skin on the outside, and you want that texture and flavor when you're eating the whole thing. When your potatoes are done, pull them off. We do need to let them cool slightly. I'm also gonna decrease the heat in my smoker to 350 degrees. You can see the crispy, crunchy bottom of my potatoes as I split them in half. Cut all of your potatoes in half, and I'm actually just gonna use a spoon to scoop out most of the inside flesh of the potatoes. You wanna be careful that you don't go all the way through the skin itself. We wanna have a little potato left in the skin and enough filling on the inside to make our really beautiful, luscious, twice-baked potato filling. I'm gonna add in a good amount of butter. I like to cut it into pieces so that it melts more easily a cup of whole milk, a cup of heavy cream. I also am using a cup of sour cream. This is full fat sour cream and I'm not sorry. The secret ingredient here are these instant potatoes. It's a half a cup of instant potatoes. It's gonna make the filling light and fluffy, but because we put in all of that fat, there's a tendency for the filling of these potatoes to kind of like mush and melt out. The instant potatoes fluff up with all of the milk and the cream and the sour cream, so you get this perfect puffy inside. I'm also gonna sprinkle in some sharp shredded cheddar cheese. I really like sharp for flavor. Some crumbled cooked bacon and give that a mix. Also green onions. I like the sliced part of the green onions. A little bit of brightness and freshness. Spoon that into those hollowed out shells. You wanna go one at a time. You're gonna have probably a little bit more filling than you need. Don't be afraid of stuffing these full. Again, the magic happens because of those instant potatoes. Sprinkle with a little bit more cheese on top. There's a tendency to go overboard here. Practice a little bit of cheese restraint, and then they go back on your grill, 350 degrees for an additional 20 to 25 minutes. We really want that cheese to be melty and a nice crispy skin on the outside of our potatoes. Now these are some beautiful twice baked potatoes. We did the whole thing on the grill, but you can do the whole thing in the oven at home if you don't have a smoker. But I think the smoky element is what gives them that little extra special something got pieces of bacon. I'm actually gonna top mine with a little bit more of these sliced green onions, just for some freshness to offset the richness of the cheese and the cream and the butter. And then I'm also gonna top it with a little bit more of my crumbled bacon. Of course, they're already loaded, so extra toppings are optional. But if I'm given a choice between more bacon and not more bacon, 10 times out of 10, I'm choosing more bacon. Look at these perfect little crispy potato boats. The skin is seasoned and crunchy. The insides are fluffy and creamy and cheesy. That means every single bite is going to be absolutely phenomenal. And I love that they're hand tilled. They're perfect for like tailgating or a party snack or a beautiful side dish to a steak dinner. Also the best twice baked potato I've ever had in my life. These are Absolutely phenomenal. I know they're a little bit of work, but they are totally worth it. I can't wait to see you make this recipe at home. When you do, snap a photo, tag me on social media. That way I can see it and cheer you on on your journey to becoming a backyard barbecue hero. We'll see you next time. Mm.